I'm going to be talking today about the illustrations for the books because um, the House Training Dragon books, I write uh, the books, but I also do the pictures. The pictures are an integral part of the books. They're so important for um, a, a kid, particularly a kid who's a reluctant reader, but all kids are quite visual. So um, I scatter these illustrations through the books with uh, ink splots and, um, uh, and, they, and they make the book look like an exciting object to the kid. It looks like it's been down to the bottom of the of the sea and dragged by dragon's talons and um, maybe you know splotted with blood or, or something and that in itself makes it look like an exciting object to a child. I'm going to talk, show you now how I draw two of my main characters, Hiccup and Toothless. Okay, let's start with Toothless here. Um, Toothless is a very mischievous dragon it's very important to get the the emotion I think into the drawing and the feeling into the drawing um, so uh, I concentrate a lot on the expression you see how he's just thinking of something disobedient to do there uh, right um, and so much of the drawing as I say is in so much of the, of the feeling that you get about the characters um, is through the expressions on their faces. Um, and I try and draw in this quite um, wild and kind of scribbly way, uh, kind of quite an energetic way, because it makes the child feel like it's something that they could do. It's the kind of drawing that they could do. And I often use, well, I always use, pencil uh, because that's that's what a child uh, is often using themselves um, and Toothless is sitting he's so small he can sit on the head of Hiccup which he's doing here and Hiccup again his expression is so important like that He's a little bit anxious, this character, Hiccup. So he's just wondering what Hiccup is, I mean, Toothless is doing up there. Um, but he's also very fond of, of Toothless and you can feel that relationship between them. Often when I'm drawing, I'm trying to think what is the character thinking or feeling while I'm doing it and I'll try and it's quite an emotional experience drawing because I'm trying to I'm trying to feel what the characters are feeling or when I'm writing I'm doing the same thing I'm trying to feel what the characters are feeling and then if you feel that emotion that that will come across in the drawing and you see again I'll turn to make the mark making very scribbly like that which gives energy and excitement to the drawing There you go, Hiccup and Toothless.